I'm Trevor Amicone for WeberStateSports.com, and we are here inside the D Event Center in Ogden, Utah, the site of what will be a huge matchup on Saturday night when the BYU Cougars come here to Ogden to take on the Weber State Wildcats. BYU is 5-0 at home in Provo, but away from the Marriott Center this year, they're just 1-3. Meanwhile, the Wildcats ride a 20-game home win streak into Saturday night's game. This season, they're 3-0 here at the D Event Center and 1-2 and on the road. Now, this is important because at home, BYU shoots 51%, but on the road, the shooting percentages have been in the 30s this season. Now, this is a very good matchup for Weber State because the Wildcats' perimeter defense is one of the best in the country. They hold opponents to under 25% shooting from beyond the arc. Now, the big players to watch for BYU are Tyler Hawes and Brandon Davies. Hawes from the outside, Davies from inside the paint. Davies, one thing to watch for, he gets in foul trouble quite a bit. In six of the last seven games for the Cougars, Davies has had two fouls in the first half. Now, some players to watch for the Wildcats, of course, guards Davion Berry and Scott Bamforth and center Kyle Tresnak. Tresnak came off of a performance that garnered him the Big Sky Conference Player of the Week last week. And newcomer Davion Berry helps fill the void left by Damian Lillard on the scoring end. He is the Wildcats' leading scorer so far this season. Dave Rose is 7-0 all-time as BYU's head coach against Weber State. Meanwhile, Weber State head coach Randy Ray has yet to beat the Cougars. Hopefully that changes here soon. Tip-off is set for 7 o'clock on Saturday night. And for tickets, which are still available, go to WeberStateSports.com or WeberStateTickets.com. Remember, students, it is free for you. So come loud and be proud Saturday night at 7 o'clock. For WeberStateSports.com, I'm Trevor Amicone.